Welcome to the channel. In today's video we're going to talk about gun violence in America. Don't forget to subscribe and let's get started. In 2023, 11,547 people have died from gun violence in the U.S. As of April 23, according to the Gun Violence Archive, which is an average of roughly 100 deaths each day. This includes mass shootings, as well as homicides, suicides, and accidental shootings. Deaths by suicide has made up the vast majority of gun violence deaths this year, around 57%, the nonprofit Gun Violence Tracker reports. There's been an average of around 65 deaths by suicide per day in 2023. The majority of these deaths have occurred in Texas, California, Florida, Georgia, North Carolina, Illinois and Louisiana. The Second Amendment of the U.S. Constitution protects the right of individuals to keep and bear arms, and this has been the subject of much debate when it comes to gun ownership and gun violence. In recent years, there have been calls for stricter gun control laws, including background checks, waiting periods, and restrictions on the types of firearms that individuals can own. However, opponents of gun control argue that such laws would infringe on their Second Amendment rights, and that the problem of gun violence in the United States is more related to mental health issues and the criminal justice system. As a result, there is ongoing debate over how to balance the rights of gun owners with the need to address gun violence. There are several laws and regulations in place in the United States related to gun ownership and gun violence. For example, the National Instant Criminal Background Check System, NICS, is used to conduct background checks on individuals who want to purchase firearms from licensed dealers. This system is designed to prevent firearms from getting into the hands of people who are prohibited from owning them, such as convicted felons and people with mental illnesses. Another law related to gun ownership is the Gun Control Act of 1968, which regulates the sale, transfer, and possession of firearms. This law prohibits certain individuals, such as convicted felons, domestic abusers, and people with mental illnesses, from owning firearms. It also sets requirements for licensed firearms dealers, including record-keeping and reporting requirements. There have also been several attempts to pass federal legislation aimed at reducing gun violence in the United States. For example, in 2013, the U.S. Senate introduced a bill that would have expanded background checks to include all gun sales, including those made at gun shows and online. However, the bill was defeated, and efforts to pass similar legislation have been met with significant opposition. In addition to federal laws and regulations, many states have their own laws related to gun ownership and gun violence. Some states have implemented stricter gun control measures, while others have passed laws aimed at expanding gun rights and allowing individuals to carry firearms in more places. Overall, the issue of gun violence in the United States is a complex and challenging one. While there are laws and regulations in place to address the problem, there is ongoing debate over how to balance the rights of gun owners with the need to reduce gun violence. It is likely that this debate will continue for many years to come. Thank you for watching our video. If you enjoyed this video, we have Taylor made a video on left and if you missed my latest video click on the right one. It will really help us if you subscribe to our channel.